micro and macro level conflict. Here we have some pictures of conflict. In our last lesson, you guys were really confused about what you thought conflict meant. This is this, these pictures really show what conflict means. People butting heads. So, we're going to explore some different definitions of conflict. Our first one, a state of open, often prolonged fighting, a battle of war. So like the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, all of that things are is conflict. This is the one we all know. A state of disharmony between income capital or ethnic persons, ideas, or interests. Like a clash. People are butting heads with each other. And our last definition is like political. Po political. In a political term, conflict refers to an ongoing state of hostility between two groups of people. That happens all the time. Even at school. Hmm. Alright, next. The concept of conflict. So the, conflict, the concept of conflict, it carries negative connotations. It is negative all the time. But we know in our last lesson, we explored positive, neutral, and negative. But from now on, it's only negative. There's no such thing as positive and neutral negatives, conflicts anymore. So the opposite of cooperation and peace, it is not peace at all. It is commonly associated with violence. We have, next we're going to explore different types of conflict. We have intra intrapersonal conflict. It occurs within an individual. So it's like yourself right here. Yourself. It is yourself. Feelings, emotions, actions, all of that stuff is intrapersonal conflict. Interpersonal conflict. And for instance, it may occur when you have two or more choices. Like when you want to choose between a would you rather question like we did in the last lesson. You were having an intrapersonal conflict between yourself when you had to make a choice between watching Netflix or Disney+. Plus. You have to think. The next, intragroup conflict. It is a conflict among members of a group. Like when you're in school and you're doing group work, you may not, get, you may not agree on different things with your group. That is intragroup conflict. Differences in opinion, that happens all the time. Or group discussion in class, everyone has their own opinion and perception. Our net, and we have lots, lots, lots of different types of conflict that we can't explore. But intergroup conflict and interpersonal conflict are our main conflicts for this theme. But these are other types of different conflicts. Intergroup conflict, the conflict between two or more groups. Interorganizational conflict, conflict between two or more organizations. And international conflict, conflict between two or more nations. Like USA and China, for example. Micro conflict. Microconflict it is the study of small scale structures and processes in society. What is micro level conflict? Micro level conflict is what we're going to explore in the next lesson. But now you're going to take the exit ticket quiz and we're going to explore more variations of intergroup conflict and intrapersonal conflict. Bye!